We're on YouTube. All right. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. Welcome everybody to the Sufi Society. Nothing but facts. Live stream streaming on a Thursday in which it is, of course, as you know, As you know, it is a day of uh, stories of the Odia, and that's what we're doing today. But first, I was telling the brothers, okay, that I was telling the brothers that the protest thing is now it's all over the place. There's another yet another protest today. It's almost like every day, and this has not been a good month for the Pride folks. For Ligbitq, it hasn't been a good month. It's been like a disaster, actually, right? Literally a disaster. I mean, it's it's what has become mainstream this month, right? Is protests. It's mainstream. Let's read about another protest, and I'll tell you where we're going after this, because I'm not continuing as an anti and a protest. I'm not an anti. You have to stand for something, right? Now listen to this. First of all, you get Patrick Bet David. What's his middle name? It's not loading for me. Going out there. This guy is, I mean, I guess he's like as mainstream as you're going to get. The guy has a lot of money tied up in a lot of things. When people like him start talking, when Starbucks starts talking, it's mainstream. Pride flags on Fortune 500 companies represent one thing. At some point, they took money from BlackRock, State Street, Vanguard, etc., the level of fear these companies, these are private equity investors, essentially, okay? The level of fear that these companies have from disappointing these private equity firms is at a whole nother level. It's mas- mafia-esque, and it's backfiring for many. Starbucks is done, basically. I went to, like, two, nothing on the walls. They just want to serve coffee to people. They don't want to get political. Right? They didn't, it's getting political. I'll tell you why it got political, why this year is different from previous years, is because they don't know where to stop. I'm telling you, Ligbitq, you were ahead. You had just stopped. But no, you got to get weird with the drag, with the trans, and you got to get involved with kids. Put it up, shrink, shrink the image that I'm putting up there, Habib. Shrink it, and then put it up in the corner. Like, put it on the, on the left. A little bit in the corner, okay? Now there's another protest, which I, I, I just retweeted, where the thing is that Muslims are at the, or they're, they're involved in this, but and they're in the lead in some ways, but at the same time, there's a lot of support coming out of it, right? A lot of support. There was just another protest recently uh, in Ottawa. Let me read you that, and I'll tell you where we're going because we're not going to stay protesting for long so who is andy lee never heard of her she's a canadian person okay and a large protest all right a large protest led by muslim families against gender ideology is taking place right now outside of ottawa carlton district okay chance of leave the kids alone let the parents decide are heard all right. Um, and this has a lot of traction on Twitter. All right. I couldn't really get to play it, but a lot of traction. Live streaming it. Okay. Random people. Here's a Hindu saying, this is how it should be. Good for all these parents. They need to leave the children alone. I'm a parent. Okay. Chudo has a major problem. Hey, I'm a teacher. This is Chris Erickson. I'm a teacher. Leave the kids alone. Okay, even there was a guy from some some heavy metal band who used to lead the pride parades in San Francisco every year and perform there every year. Okay, He's not allowed. Right. He's not allowed to lead because he's against the trans transing the kids. He's like, "No, no, no, be gay. That's one thing. Transing the kids is another thing. I'm telling you, Ligbit Q, you are ahead. If you just cool it down and reach the that's it. I'm done with it. Here, That's why I'm saying any secular movement, they don't know when to stop. If it's a Dini movement, okay, then 
Allah tells us this is success, this is failure, this is what you need to do, this is not what you need to do. Okay, there's an echo they're saying in the mic. Okay. Um, Brittany is saying, she's saying, is Justin Trudeau just going to tell them you're all right wingers, right? Okay. All right. So, Haywood Jablomi is saying, this is the silent majority. Okay. These are not like all Muslim names. There's people who just couldn't say anything. When, when people spoke up, finally it burst through. Now, here's where I'm going with this. I'm not going to be anti for long. I don't want to be an anti. You never, you never want to be an anti. So what are we for? Right? We're, we're our, our way of living with a man and a woman. Man loves woman. Woman loves man. They produce kids. They protect the kids. Okay? They have kids, first of all. Okay? We're all about having kids. Now, Habib, now in the, in the background there, move me up to the left a little bit. And then the, keep the flag where it is. Now, look, we need to be pro something, not anti Okay, we need to be pro. We keep it over. Yeah, there you go. Like that. What you just did. Up, 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 up and over. Other way, other way, other way. There you go. That's fine. All right, look at this. We need our, this is our own flag here. Yeah, there you go. Look at this. Look how beautiful this flag is. Do you like it, Omar? Click. The sun flag. Well, they came with the rainbow. The sun is a source of all life. It's a source of nur and it's a source of life. Here's a draft. You're a designer, get us a better one. But that beautiful blue sky, right? They got, we are celebrating life. And I'm looking for somebody who is going to be the engineer socially for this thing. Wait a second, why should I always be, why should I always be uh, against something? Well, what am I for? What are me, me and Christians and Jews, what are we all for? We're for, for, for the, the way of living that God ordained that gives life, right? The creator of the sun and, the, uh, and gives life. So that's what the sun represents, right? And life should have its own month. June. Head to head. To head. head to head. What do you think, Amma? You know, this is actually what the right has struggled with like, yep. for so long. Is that they were always, the right has just become the anti-left, right? Thank you very much. Yep. Where they lose followers is we're just anti this, anti this. Exactly. The left comes back and saying you have no positive solutions. Thank you. Right? Yeah. But now, and, and really, you can't have positive solutions yeah. without any sense of, of deen. Exactly. Um, without any sense of, of, of Islam or, like, even this, this Christianity and Judaism doesn't have any positive response anymore. No positive, like, the only positive response that exists that can contend with the challenge of liberalism comes from, comes from Islam at the end of the day. And that's, and, and I think that's what in a sense, bring to the discussion at a political stage, saying that, hey, we actually stand for something that is not ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, all these guys are us, like, saying here, like, 17, 25 different colors, and uh, 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 pretty, pretty soon there's going to be Greek alphabet, and you know, there's, like, <laughs> add a sigma, omega. And, uh, hieroglyphics and, soon. You know, like, Yo, they but, got two spirit, what if, like, mummies and hieroglyphics is coming soon? Yeah, there's, like, like, 73 gender identities, you know, like. It's plus, absurd. It's, it's, it's when like, does it stop? It's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. And there's nothing. And then the right is struggling to bring, bring a positive. They'll say that this is not right. Yeah. This is not what beauty is. But they don't know what beauty is. Yeah. Through our deen, we know what beauty What is beauty? What is justice? What is rahmah? You yeah. Know, like all these things we have. Yeah. Um, as philosophical concepts, but also practical concepts too. You know? And uh, yeah, that's where, we, uh, that's where we step in. We were talking, um, we were talking here and someone was saying there are so many spontaneous protests. And someone was saying, hey, I think we need to organize this, right? Like, but my thinking was like, hold on a second. I think it should be organized and spontaneous, right? It should be organized and spontaneous. Then we talk about what are the chants? What are the things that people are chanting? And that does that need to be curated? And I thought, all oh, this is really good, but I'll tell you one, one, one thing that's bad. It's all a negative, right? Where's the positive? You need to sit there waiting for the... Uh, the woke to do something bad in order to mobilize. No, no, no. We got something. And then, by the way, 
you go to protest, you get angry, you be down with this. You can't last too long with that. You attract the angry people. You don't last. They don't last. Islam has always brought a positive, right? It's it's the negative, and it's like the, the bird with two wings, you know? It's yes, you have, thank you. you have like, we you have protests, we have this. The, 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 you have the fear, and you have yeah. the hope, you know? Yeah. The hope and darajah, you know? And that's that's it. We bring the, yeah, we have the negative responses, like the negative philosophical, but even more powerful than that is like, rahmati you wasiyat know, like Thank you. This is, this is, then it's really the beauty and the positive that encompasses yeah. this, this all, you know? And I have no problem to, you know, work alongside with Christian folks, this is just on this subject of life. We both, crusaders, be as crusader as you want in this subject. You're crusaders and Muslims, right? Christians and Muslims. We both have the concept that we're created by a merciful creator, okay? And the way we want to live is man loves woman, has kids, raises kids. You're the parents who have the right to program your kids as you wish. Guide them, make the, don't let's not lie. You're programming them, right? But programming them to good. But are aren't the public schools? Isn't this a form of programming, right? So we want to raise our own kids, okay? And this madness needs to stop because even though my kids are not in public school, if I don't try to work to stop this, most Muslims are in public school. It's it's going to come back to me because what what you allow to go around. Even though it doesn't touch you, it's going to touch you eventually. And it's just not the right way to do it. It's Even though I'm, I've been against to go to public school for a long time, but nonetheless, not everyone has the luxury to homeschool, has the knowledge to, to homeschool, or that even we should have homeschooled, or has like the, the capability and the uh, awareness to even go to a Muslim school, right? And some people, you know, they don't have Muslim schools. They don't have private schools. We have to help them. We got to be there to support them, and it, and it can't just be opt out. Opt out is too late, by the way. The whole school is an LGBT celebration. <laughs> what do you care about June, the last month of the year, from September onwards? Everything, the math problems, the history classes. So it's really late in the game. But at least you did that, at least, right? Yeah. So I want to flip this now. Not I'm not anti. I'm for something. That what I'm for actually displaces. The, what I'm anti, it displaces it. So you cannot last long as an anti. You got to be a, a a pro, right? And the sun, the sun flag, firstly, it just puts me in a good mood. And by the way, if you're a designer, get me a better one. That's like a thirty second design right there. Get me a, put the put the other one up. Have you? This wind is blowing in my back. I got to fix it here. Have you put the other one up? The light blue one. Okay. With this, mashallah, it's okay. You got it. Now let people choose. Now, you like the light blue one better. Uh, 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 so, hey, speak to us. Well, I think the first one is too uh, evocative of Argentina. Oh, okay, colors. okay, fair enough. Just the blue. Fair yeah, maybe you're right about that. That's why let people decide. Whatever one rises up, rises up, you know? Uh, here, it's a, it's less bright, though, this one. This one's less bright. But the concept, that's how simple it is. It's a, it's a beautiful, life-giving sun on a beautiful sky blue. Who doesn't like the sun on a blue sky? And is that not the fitra, like the good days, the good old days, right? When you're in childhood, what do you think of, right? A pure childhood. You're robbing people of pure childhood because of this population control movement. This is what it is, okay? Daydream of autumn, this can be done better. Do it, send it to us right now. At in, This is a 30-second... That's the beauty of it. It's got to be so simple. This is kids will be color it in school, right? Send it to info at safinasadi.org or send it to my, yeah, send it to info at safinasadi.org. Okay. Um, nice. Make a and suggestion. <laughs> make a suggestion, yeah. But let me tell you something. The only way to do this, okay, 
Yeah, daydream of autumn right now. All right. Yeah, do it. Are you working? <laughs> right. My listeners work. <laughs> Can only see a third of the image. Fine. Habib, put the flag, put both up. Oh, no, actually, no, not, they can't see both. But put the flag in the middle so the Instagrammers can see it. Okay? But, you know, something so simple, something so easy. And it doesn't make a difference what kind of sun that you put up. Uh, but that's the concept. I'm celebrating something. And let me tell you how to get this rolling. Just be the first one to do it. Just be the first one to do it. Make the Stake the claim. It's like, do we come to uh, the United States, right, in the West? What did they do? We need to sp spread the we uh, into the West. What do we do? Just go there. You put your stake in. That's your square acre, whatever it was back in the day, right? All right. Now, in a little bit, Habib, put the darker blue one, which is a brighter blue, right? But it's it's a bright yeah, like that. That's good. It's a brighter blue. I like it to be honest with you. Argentina is actually the light blue. Is it the light blue? Argentina okay. is the light blue. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. And uh, someone's asking, what is this flag all about? The flag is all about, this is this is um, what we're for. Because now we know what we're against as Muslims. And we know what everyone has been, uh, has been against. Right? Has been protesting. I'm not going to be a protester. I'm not a protester. It is, you are lost already when you protest. Because when you gain in a protest, can you center it, Habib? It's not centered. Um, when you gain in a protest, all you do is go back to like, all you're doing is going back to status quo, right? No, no, I don't want status quo. I want to achieve something. This way of living, the Christians, I would say, have failed to convince. No offense to the Christians. We want your support, but you failed. It, just admit it. You need the Muslims to do this. You failed to convince your generation way back from Elvis Presley's days, right? You failed to convince them that this life is a good is good. And it's not about convincing, it's about tasting. Because you don't have nur. We have nur and serenity, and our you know youth and Muslims feel it, they know it, okay? They they have it, and when they do something wrong, they feel it's lost. All right. So now, uh, instead of being against rainbow, I want to be for something. And if we're in the world now that every, uh, people understand flags and that's what triggers meaning to them, then then so be it. Right. So that's what what's happening. Okay. Omar Abbasi has been, uh, uh, you know, in Pakistan for how, how long have you been in Pakistan? What's up with you? Bro, Omar, are, are, is, is this uh, like old school? Keep keep the flag the whole time, the dark blue one. Keep it in the corner the whole time. Um, you know those those old families. First, the last day of school, the flight is at night. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, can I go to my friends? No, the flight is at night to go to the old country, and they return the night before sure. the next day of school. Right? <laughs> uh, now, um. close to the Kazakhstan flag, but not too much. Not really. Not That's what you're talking about. But that's okay. Who the heck knows what Kazakhstan is? <laughs> All right. And anyway, it's a little bit different. But no, I, I really like it. Let's just stick to it. Because you know why stuff doesn't work? Because you try to make it perfect from the first start. Right? So that's what this flag is for. And that's what we're that's what we're doing. All right? Lift, lift up the main shot a little bit. The main shot's really low. Got to be up and over. Okay. It's for it's for the traditional family. It's for the family as God created it to be. Okay, as Allah created created the family to be. That's the way we gotta live. Okay. All right. 1960 sexual revolution said Muhammad Nur Zahar. You stopped. You failed there. That's where you failed. And this is just like the gross result of it. Right. Of the grandparents were in the sexual revolution. It took three generations before we have realized. And you're all against Muslims, okay? Right? You're all against Muslims during the war on terror. Now you're you're happy that we're the ones who are doing it. Because as the guy said, Muslims are 
they're woke resistant. They're not susceptible to being bullied. But I'll tell you what we're also not going to do. I'm not being an anti. I'm not an anti. I'm not a protester. Right. I'm going to sell. I need to be in a good mood all the time. That's how simple it is, right? Protesting, you're angry. All the time. My heart hurts now. And then they say, chant, down with this. What do we want? Justice. I'm not celebrating equilibrium. I better get equilibrium from the start, right? That's a default. I want to offer the world something, and we have something awesome to offer the world. Ammar, talk to me. Your thoughts. The inverse of the message, it's, you have to, first of all, you have to operate in, like, your own uh, dimension in a way. Like, you can't operate in, in you're operating in their headspace mm -hmm. by talking about, okay, hey, you know, like, this is, we're anti this, anti that. And this is, like, it's almost, like, predates, this conversation goes back to, like, almost yeah. how, you know, Frederick Douglass versus, like, E.B. Du Bois talked about how to deal with, like, institutionalized racism. And the big conflict that they had was between, do you try to assimilate and fix the system? Or, like, do you try to go into the system, protest them, and try to fix it? Or do you just go and create your own system now? Make your own and system. Then, uh, and then try to... And then they'll see your system and be like, wow, your system is so much better. We actually want to join your system. Thank you. Uh, and Have you checked the info at Safina? I we believe that was somebody. Du Bois' position, right? Yeah. Uh, and it lost out in, in terms of, like, the, the Black Revolution. Why like, is that? The reason... People like... I think people like the idea of protesting. They like being angry, you know? But it's easier day, to tear down. It's harder to build up. Exactly. When you're building, yeah. like, homeschooling... For example, talking about homeschooling. Yeah. How hard is that to build that at, at, at a national level, right? Yeah. And there are smaller initiatives that are doing it, you know, mashallah. And, you yeah. know, but to build this at a level, that takes effort. That takes work. It takes, that takes a lot years, of work. You know, yep. like, it takes, it's not like you just go to a protest, you be angry for a couple hours, and yep. you go back home, sip your Starbucks latte. Mm -hmm. You know, like... After that, it's what it really is. Is that yeah. you need to spend years building this, and I'm finding th that's people, it. and you know, working with people in, in order to get that done. And, and what we're trying to build out here is already built. The dean is there, right? Now all we need is to get it to people. Hey, uh, Salman, you said you said something. Okay, um, we don't see it. Info at safinasidi.org. Send it again, because. I may have an eye for design, but I need, don't have the time to design. This is what I'm putting up. So someone will come up with a better one. Okay. But that's the concept. What do you think, uh, Swahib? Hmm? You got his email? What does it look like? Let's see. I want to see his design. Uh, too childish. Son man, too childish. Salman, it's it's. I like the con let me see, Salman. I like the concept of the rays being uh, uh, being separate, but the clip art is too childish. Um, also, your gradient is good, but it's not good on print. When you print a T-shirt or you print a flag, you don't want a gradient. Okay, so the gradient doesn't work. It's got to be a solid color. Okay, and and it and the flag is is I like the separating the rays out from the uh, the way he did it here. I don't know if you all can see that. Okay, all right. Let's put it up to the camera a little bit there. But the clip art is is childish. Try again. It's not childish, but it's yeah. for children. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. No, I think you make one very, yeah. very important observation in uh, with respect to the mindset of yeah. many people uh, in the Ummah, not just here, but overseas as well. And I think that, like you said, it's more of a reactionary mindset. And in some ways you could argue it's a selfish mindset because yeah. I think what has happened is that Iman and Islam, Ihsan, all of that comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not something that you've earned. It's been something that's been given to you. It's a gift. And so if you've been given this gift, mm -hmm. uh, your responsibility is to share that gift. Yep. And if you just keep it for yourself... You have to share it. And especially with people who have come from you know, other nations here. They came for a variety of different reasons. Yeah. Um, you don't truly believe until you love for your brother what you love for yourself. I'll tell you what the problem is. It's weakness of, in the promise of Allah. And it's just weakness. Right. 
weakness, the good thing about that, it can be remedied. Every Muslim believes that they have the truth, but they're weak in it. So no problem. We can strengthen that. You strengthen it by hanging out with other Muslims who are strong about their beliefs. Okay? So for all those just joining the stream and those who just came in, we said that um, there's been so much, so many protests. There's yet another one. Right? This morning. Or yesterday, I guess it happened. The post was this morning. And it's, people have been telling me that, like, it's now mainstream to be anti. <laughs> to be against this thing. Starbucks themselves, they're not putting the pride flag up anymore. Really? And so. if Starbucks moves, then you know something behind the scenes is happening. They've read numbers. They've looked at numbers. They looked at, they saw Bud Light. They saw Target. And they said, hold on. And the truth of the matter is, who spends money? Families. <laughs> because you have no choice. You have to spend money, right? Am I going to go to some place that where my kid's going to fall in love with something that's going to end up with them getting uh, on the surgery table with the reproductive organs taken out? Right? I'm not getting involved in that. That's why I said... Uh, like bit of Q, you were ahead. You should have stopped that gay. Once you went to trans, people are like, ah, it's weird, whatever. Once you went to, let's make your kids trans, you lit a, you touched something that you shouldn't have touched. And now the normies are against you. Right? The normies are against you. The Whole Foods moms are like, whoa, stop right there. They're like, we loved you, we sympathize for you, but you don't touch my kids. Right. So now that it's mainstream and people are talking about systematizing their marches and I was like, yeah, that's good. But I'm not a protester and I'm not an anti. I need to be upbeat and happy and productive, pro offering something to the world. Right. We're offering something. So in the space of how people procreate, essentially. Our world and our message is man loves woman, woman loves man. Man and woman have kids. Man and woman have the right to raise their kids. Don't don't go there. So that's life, right? So our movement is life. That movement, instead of anti LGBTQ, I'm with life, right? Because it and it also even, in a sense, touches upon late stage abortions too. Life, okay. So, well, how do we symbolize that? How do we transmit that to everybody? What, the only thing happier than a rainbow is the sun itself who produces the rainbow. That's why we have a sun flag now. Okay, how do I point to the screen? I don't know. This one. Boom. There. How do those YouTubers do it? Click right here, right? There. Whoops. There. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what it is. I'm not going to be anti. I'm for. I'm, I support life, right? I'm for everything that's life. And that's what the sun is, isn't it? Isn't all sorts, it's water. Which is why the sky is blue. The sky is blue because well, it symbolizes water, right? And the sun. And now, let's have a march. A celebration. It's not a march. I don't have a protester. Right? I'm a, sub sub a suburban-born kid whose life was great. I'm not a protester. I need to have something that we put out there to celebrate. So when's going to be our first celebration? Someone tell me. When's the first celebration and who's going to organize it? It doesn't have to be big. Doesn't have to be big. Islam. <laughs> huh? Islam will organize it. Islam. Islam will organize it, but he doesn't even need to know what it's about. We we need we need when is the first march and, and celebration? Tomorrow? Huh? Tomorrow? Yeah, Why tomorrow? June t no, it's not Juneteenth or anything. But where would we do it? I'm not an organizer. That's the thing. I gave you guys the brand. Gave you the idea. Gave you the words. Now someone organize it and set a stage. Get some mics. Right? Okay? And do it. What's wrong with that? Have some st stalls, some food. I, I just want normal. I just want to see normal people. That's it. That's the, that's the thing. Just normal. You, I can identify you as a dude. You're a guy. You're a girl, right? It's like that. 
<laughs> That's it. Yeah, it would be good. Yeah. It's a fun age. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, so you guys like my idea? Pretty much. Poke holes in it. I need you guys to poke holes in it, but not too many holes. <laughs> because it'll be... It'll be. Uh, I think this is just going to turn into a motive, you know, like that's. Yeah, a, I know, <laughs> that's but it, it, you happen. really need what you would call it. Uh, you really need what you would call it. Um, y- you do need a wide coalition. It's got to be everybody. Okay. It's got to be everybody. You know. Right. It's got to be simple. And it's got, it's not worship the logo. Uh, Melody saying they worship the logo flag. It's not, but when you communicate, you have to have a logo, right? D- doesn't every message has a logo. How do I communicate? People just need something quick that I could see that communicates your message. That's all it is, right? Uh, Sarah is on Facebook, Royal Blue. With a vibrant yellow. Royal blue, I think, is a bit dark and less on the happy side. But put it out there. The people will decide because they'll just, you know. uh, It's roguish wants to design one. Yes, feel free. It's not going to be anyone who owns, like, who owns the LGB movement? Nobody. But they have a consensus. This is our, our image. Well, that's it. Right? So... That's what I'm thinking. Okay, let's see what else. Who else has something here? Anyone send in anything on email? Yep. Chief Latif likes royal blue. Put it up there. But it might be a slightly different though, right? I mean dark. But at least it won't be like his extent. Put it up. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, do it. It's 30 second thing you know royal blue would also um joey black thinks the whole idea is stupid well give us a reason though don't just say <laughs> don't how is it stupid when that is how one group has successfully brainwashed everybody else through a simple brand simple marketing right okay And we need to have some celebrations too. Not marches, not protests. All right, let's go to um, Midnight Blue and Gold. Too dark. Too dark. Daydream of Autumn. Yes, yeah, send the concepts. If we keep this idea alive for a few weeks and then that weeks turn into a couple months, a couple months turn into a year, if it's... I. Right? Allah says about birth, childbirth, the human being, which is the longest creature to reach maturity. Right? Um, is two years. If an idea is alive for two years, it lives, usually. Because in those two years, it's a testing period. It's a beta. It's like putting holes in it. Right? And you, you have to be able to put it up there, put it out there, let people, boom, poke at it but you can't not make a decision and wait that's analysis paralysis right you got to just do it and get better as you go along the more you talk about it and do something take some action about it you get better as you go along right that's good for them that's not a problem at all yeah yeah Yes. Like all they're doing is the means that they're taking is all negative. It's all negative. It's all trash talking. You know, yeah. Like, and this is you're you're like denigrating your message. Yeah. By the means that you're taking. That's what it is. And what this is is like more so. I think we can perceive it as an opportunity to bring people together and show them what prayer looks like. Yeah. In terms of families coming together, sitting together, eating together, doing zikr together, you know, like praying together. This is like, uh, this is this is a beautiful thing. I think. That's how it has to be, and it's also got to be that. Um, your existence, if you're an anti, your existence is predicated on the presence of your enemy, right? 
and like no offense to some groups in Islam, their way of promoting the Sunnah is bashing every Muslim group that has an innovation. But where is the prophetic model? Like where where is the positive that I'm climbing to? So that's what's gonna last. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Someone said, "Please answer my question." No, he, um, I'm 187. Just keep the question going. Uh, just repost the question here, because I can't see who I 87. What's the question here? Uh, is Imam Bayhaqi reliable? Yes, 100% reliable. Okay. Um, can you repeat what this is about for those tuning in? All right, here we go. There's been more and more protests against the schools stuffing tran the transient agenda down everyone's throat, down these little kids' throat, and basically messing up their heads. So the normies have... You ticked off the normies, and now there are too many people out there who are against the whole thing. So, so much so that big companies are, are, are taking a step back from the pride flag okay and from the whole thing because of the trance so they were like okay fine you want to be gay be gay but now that you hit the the, the lgb has adopted the trans agenda and the trans agenda went into the schools people oh they're against the whole thing so it's become a main mainstream to be hesitant about this thing and to move away from it right but now people are saying we need to now have coordinated marches. It needs to be an organization that's coordinated. All night, fair and good. Here's the problem. that You predicated your activity on the existence of what you hate. Like the atheist. If we don't exist, you don't exist. Right? You need us. Dawkins needs us. If, if we believe it don't exist, you don't have books to sell. Right? What are you for? Right? Okay. So, we need to flip it now. We need to be for something. I mean, think about what Malcolm X did, right? Yeah. That's, that's really what Malcolm X was doing towards the latter end of his life. Yeah. When he was transitioning away from the Nation of Islam. Because Nation of Islam was anti-white, right? If you just look at that. Yeah. Like, it was really just anti-white. Yeah. And then, now, he transitioned, when you look towards the latter, like, in, like, the last two years of his life, you see how he was trying to create a movement of positivity. Mm -hmm. Right? It's a movement, not movement of positivity, movement that points towards the positive yeah, right? yeah. That, that, that points towards the faith you know yeah uh, and, and that's because it was building community uh, across the nation right? yeah and, and doing so and yeah the is, best of precedent for this is what I'm saying. the best demonstration of the truth of islam is that this dean is the only one that was able to say no to this thing right and the way we say no is not to say no say yes to something else right and that's why the idea that we have to you have to have uh, it has to be a, a simple brand with some colors, some words, a, a visual and a word, right? This is the visual, and the word has to be life. I mean, I don't see a better word because it literally ha it 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 takes on that meaning, where the way of living of man and woman produces life, right? It produces an offspring. Why is that other thing bad? It cuts off life. What is the first? Maqsad of the Sharia, protect your Iman. Second Maqsad of Sharia, protect Deen, protect Hayat. Right? Life. And the sun, sun is the source, is the sebab, of course. Symbol of life. Right? So, for those tuning in, that's what uh, we're, we're all about. Okay? So that's what we're all about. Esra D says, there is already a flag... It's a trend in Egypt, and it's blue and pink. What is it called? Tahir Omar says, no good. All right, bring me a better one. Okay. The rainbow comes out, right? They, they're, they're, they're the rainbow flag. Well, what's the source of the rainbow? It's the sun. Do black and white zigzag like Medina Munawwara minaret? No, you confuse it with Ahmad Rida Khan's minaret. Okay. No, it's not going to be the Brailvi flag. Okay. <laughs> With all due respect to the Braille flag. Okay. Okay. Uh, pink for the background? Nah. Green and gold? But that's not in nature, though, is it? Like, in the sense that... Yeah, some leaves that are in the desert. Yeah, some leaves. 
but leaves is not what gets you excited. The sky and the sun, right, <laughs> is what gets you excited. Okay, this this the sun and the sky. Okay. Someone says reclaim the rainbow. Nah. It's that's yeah, confusing. It's just confusing, right? You can't roll without rainbow. Without rainbow. Well, we have the, this is the source of it all. Okay. So where does the rainbow come from? It comes from the sun, right? Yeah. So this is the source. Okay. Everyone's laughing at the suggestion that <laughs> the rail be flag. Okay. Mm. And whenever you want a symbol or you need a symbol, it should be able to cross uh, a lot of different lines. So the whole world knows what this the sun is, right? Right. And one other point about uh, critiques and criticisms of uh, attempts, I think that's one of the things that we see again and again in areas, other areas of the Oma as well, that uh, people are critiqued or criticized for attempting and failing. Yeah. But the only way you succeed is by failing. You have yeah. to fail upward. Yeah, we'll put it out there, right? You know, as they say, like in basketball, yeah, it's very easy to criticize someone who missed the last shot. Yeah. But you have to take the last shot before you miss it. Thank you. And Jordan missed many last shots. In Madison Square Garden, Jordan botched a dunk. Nobody knows that. Nobody sees that highlight. You know that? In MSG, Jordan bat botched up a dunk. Like, he dunked it, and it slipped, I guess, and it bounced, like, many feet out. Okay? But there's a level of courage that comes with taking that shot. That's you gotta just do it. Let it improve over time. Let it improve by the repeated attempts at it. Okay. All right. So someone said the sun needs some life, that it should be like curvy lines. All right. Put it out there. All right. Eventually, do you know what this is? Um, what this is all about? Um, it's going to succeed by an organizer. A behind the scene, com a boring community organizer type of guy who who's a manager who knows how to. That's how it succeeds. This is like the seed, the concept, and the branding, huh? <laughs> but you need someone to organize the first march or the first, the first, and that'll be basically the interfaith that I actually believe in. Ca dear Catholic Church, hello. You want to meet us for a celebration of life, right? Uh, and just man, woman. Protect the kids? Yes. Click. Next one. Next one. Next one. Two, three people, two, three organizations show up. You have, even you have to start with 15 people. Next year, it's 1,500, right? It's got to start somewhere, right? What's the email again? Because I hope you keep your eye on the email. Info at safinasided.org. Info at safinasided.org. Sophist, his wife says it should be the sun because that's what causes the. What is what is the happier? What symbol is happier than the rainbow, right? Because they got your emotions. It's a beautiful image. Everyone loves rainbows, right? Well, what's better is the sun. There's no doubt about that, and it's got to be really bright. That's why I like the the brighter the bright blue and the bright yellow. Okay. Okay, Joey Black, think it's as stupid as you want. Is there harm? Here's the question. What do you have to lose? That's the question. What do you have to lose? We're not going to ever just be, be like them. How? And also from our perspective. I like, I'm yes, sorry, go I was going to say from, our, from yep. our perspective, I remember you, you spoke about this a couple weeks back. Yep. Uh, at the Prophetic Living Conference. You said that <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards for the attempt, not the not the result. Yes. So yes. if you make the attempt and that's your Nia and you're, you're dreaming big because you're dreaming this is going to have impact mm -hmm. everybody, mm -hmm. then that's going to be written in your book. So already you've gotten this written that's in your true. book. That's, and, that's the, and, that, uh, and people have been clamoring for interfaith and they've been having, frankly, meaningless interfaith. The only interfaith that commonality we have is the family thing. Like that's the world I would rather live in. Right? Okay. Um... Isra says the Egyptian-born movement is called Fitra. Let's see, first of all. SubhanAllah, they need a movement in Egypt for this. Okay. Use Islamic knowledge, not a flag to beat them. No, you don't understand. You have to talk to people at the level that they can understand. That is Islamic knowledge. 
speak to people at the level they can understand. What is the common man and the million person people understand? A quick visual, a quick word, we get your idea, right? Islamic knowledge. Come for dars on zawaj, fiqh and nikah. Okay, <laughs> this is going to be what? No, it's not how it works. Okay. Okay. No, you, you might have some point, but I'm telling you why you're incorrect about this. Talk to people at the level that you understand, that they, they understand what resonates with people. I don't want to think. Drop Professor Robert George, he attempted something like this for two, and it had a navy blue with like an academic, you know, like, you know, the, like the wheat stalks, mm -hmm. and it said fidelity in it. And someone sent it to me, I said, too academic. It's, it looks like it's too Ivy League and academic. The regular common person is not going to have any, you know, is not going to have. So I would, um, all right, Joey, mute the man, please. You said it's stupid, but you didn't provide really much. I'm going to block you. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you hit block? Yeah, hit block on the guy. There. He's blocked because you you have to provide me some some juice here, provide me with some some reason why and what do we have to lose too? Why don't we just attempt at stuff? And this is what's working, okay? I'm telling you, this is what's gonna work. And the fact that he thinks it's stupid, good. Keep saying it's stupid because at least you're talking about it. We need some haters. Like yeah, we need haters. Yeah. Someone, uh, Sophia says, use an AI image. Dean says, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what's his name is gonna like him, like this idea, Robert George. He's gonna like the idea. And it's not just the symbolism. It's not just the simplicity with the image. It's also the ability to distill the colors through other mediums. That's the other thing because <clears throat> the effectiveness of the uh, LGBTQ flag is because it's not the rainbow per se. It's the colors associated with that rainbow. So this is combined in this right here. So you want yeah. something that's easily distilled so that, like you said, if you shade something in a particular color, then it's going to remind someone of it. So if you yeah. have that blue and the yellow, you've already achieved that just yeah. through the shading. So it doesn't even have to necessarily be tied to the symbol per se, but that seed is planted there. Yeah. And then the obviously the, the visuals yeah. is the source of it all. That's the sun, like you said. I think it's, yeah. I myself think it's a brilliant, yeah. brilliant. I like morning. the idea. And we, we uh, go to info. Let's see. We got another contestant here. Amar, let's see what you got. How well Habib puts it on. Okay. Yeah. I got it. SR says campaigns appeal to emotion. He gets it. Logic and reason. It's a very simple concept. It's family. Right? That's it. That's the world we, we grew up in. That's what we want to live in. And that'll be a big achievement in the world, uh, it, it, given the context and the backdrop of what we're dealing with. Okay. Okay, so SR gets it. Chocolate wallet, we're just <laughs> we're discounting the Brailvy flag too quickly. The, the Brailvy flag <laughs> is the grave, dome grave, the dome on the grave of Ahmed Al Khan, Abdul Qadir Al Jailani, Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Like big, big green, and then the blue. Of Abdul Qadir Jilani, then the black and white of Ahmed Al Khan. It's a beautiful flag. We can break the flag and collect the okay, this here's another contestant. There's two of them. Again, it's a gradient. We can't do a gradient. You can't print it. It's not good on print. Can't do it. Scrap, scrap the gradient. Sun, personal opinion, may be a bit simplistic, but it looks almost like um, it's a slightly simplistic. It looks like pills. A pharmaceutical might like this. It's like the yeah, oh, it's a it's a bit like the brightness thing. Maybe, maybe something with squiggly lines out there, you know, squiggly lines out there, like squiggly lines around the sun. But I mean, we just got to keep trying. Right. You know, the squig. We may give some life and fun to the sun. Okay. All right, let's <laughs> let's hey hey uh can you type in f the fitra flag Egypt something like that? I want to see what that is. I'm not really a fan of blue and pink cuz that actually is the trans colors to be honest with you. 
<laughs> yeah. Taken, yes. Yeah. Uh, it's already taken. It's a trend. Oh, here it is. Fitra flag is half pink, half blue. Okay. Hey, listen, if they're already, to be honest with you, if they're already on it, why reinvent the wheel? Let's see. Yeah. Can you, can, here, yeah. It's just, it's just, it's very simple. Hey, what do you all think of this? But it, it's just pink and blue for men and women, essentially, is what you're saying. Uh, maybe who knows right but most importantly is the cel- is the march right celebrating life that's that's the theme and we're not going to get into the abortion debate on this thing it's just marriage that's it the way that two people cohabit is a male and a female leanne says is right she says that it's too close to the trans one because maybe they didn't really have that, uh, you know, in the back of their mind in Egypt. Okay. And it's in Morocco, too. They use that. Maybe add words circling the sun. Hmm. Omar Abbas, he says the sharp rays are no good. Right. Let's see images. That's all. Okay. Saida Basaruddin is why are we looking at flags? All right. Um, <laughs> just either rewind or somebody summarize it for her. Okay. Uh, the logo of the family under the umbrella. No, I don't want to get rained on. I want to rain on somebody else. <laughs> I got a message to implant into other people. Not protecting myself from somebody else's message but it is yes everyone does know that um, that umbrella with the family guarding you know the, the family but protecting from the rainbow Sheikh Hassan Assalamu alaikum Kif haluk tafaddal qudma al qadeen Okay Daydream of autumn. As someone from the creative industry, yes, but different shades and might be somewhat similar to the trans flag. She's saying that about, I think, the Fitra flag. So, Daydream of autumn, yeah, it definitely is out. The, the, the Fitra flag is out. The pink and the blue flag is out uh, because it's too close to the trans movement right now, which is like a muted pink and a muted blue. Now explain this to me. What exactly is why is there white and brown in the trans flag now? You know that it's <laughs> lig bit of cute. <laughs> They're running out of colors. And then <laughs> and then it's a tr- it's a triangle with pink, blue, white, and brown. Oh, I s- trans, brown, I think br- brown, I think it's for pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's for I think there is a flag now that is for you know, lowering the age of. Uh, I saw a new one. Uh, I saw a new one with a red circle inside the triangle. Now there's a red circle inside. It's just, like, exactly dude, this is like brilliant marketing. Think about this, right? You just keep on coming out with new flags. Yeah. And then people and keep sell on, it, right? And then sell it. Yeah. You got to update your flag now. You know, uh-huh. it's just like. Why not do green and white? It's not catchy. It's not catchy. Green and white's not catchy. Nature is yellow, sunny day, blue sky. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know what the prophet's flag was? Just oh, white. Right. Yeah. Oh, Simple. You think that they had designers back that had like <laughs> able to make design? They didn't have water, right? They hardly had water, let alone, you know? So it'll keep, it'll keep, but I really, my biggest concern is when is the first event going to be? Okay. You know, when's the first event going to be? What's the email? Abdul Hadi says info at safinasociety.org. Madiha says, I like the flag. It's simple. It captures the concept brilliantly and definitely not the pink and blue one. So she's down with the sun on the blue flag. Okay. Ahmed Yusuf says, a sword in the Quran. <laughs> We're not in the jihad yet. <laughs> right? <laughs> when, the, when the Muslim Christian Alliance for Family succeeds, then we said, hey, we did all the work. And they said, no, we're the majority. And so, yeah, but you failed until we showed up. And they say, all right, let's fight. Then we make a new flag, right? 
<laughs> All right. Mahamza Mah- says the flag idea use their own ideas. Yeah, it's it this is how um this is how uh prophesy them to speak to the people at their level of understanding. What do people human beings understand? Simple things. There's there's a million things at- vying for your attention, right? So if you want people's attention, it needs to be real quick, okay? Real quick, and it needs to be really bright to get your attention, and the message has to be super simple, okay? And it's got to be something everybody is able to relate to. Who doesn't have wonderful memories of a sunny day, right? So that's the idea. What about the sun with sun rays and a green background? Melod man trying to, to, to co opt this to be another Melod. <laughs> okay. Not going to use the color green. It has, it's not catchy enough. I'll tell you why. Why did, why is green in nature? How could I say that green is in nature but it's not catchy? Green, <coughs> color green, when you're in the Roy G. Biv, it's right in the middle. Mm. The least brain activity is when you see green. Calms you down. I don't want to calm down. We need to get your attention. Get okay? excited. That's why the bright blue and the yellow are on both sides. Roy, w- yellow. Did you guys study Roy G. Biff? Red, orange, yellow, blue, <laughs> green, indigo, violet. Right? So one on one side and one on the other side. It's like when you have something sweet and something salty at th- in the same palette, and it's like uh, gets your attention. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> did you do Roy G. Biff with that? Oh, yeah. We did everything, man. It's somewhat similar to the Kazakhstan flag. That is a, a critique, but we're, we're moving forward until <laughs> someone brings something better. How's that? We're moving forward until someone brings something better. All right? Okay. That's how we're going to go about it. I'm not saying that this is the best, but we have to start somewhere, right? Okay. Reminds me of the Somali flag, the Argentinian flag. That's okay. <laughs> uh, that is a critique. That's fair enough. But get something better. Until then, we're moving. <laughs> what about a circular arrow? Like they do on business for a circular economy. What do you mean by the arrow? It's like uh, the arrow points, like it meets at the top, but it like feeds into itself. Hmm. Um... Asexual flag, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Red gets your attention, but not the right attention. It gets anger attention. Can't be too too much red. No, blue is good. Right. Blue, it gets your attention with both of them are happy colors. Light blue and yellow. And bright yellow. They're the happy colors. Make the sun a little bit more orange, maybe. But you know what? You need clip art colors. You need the colors that's on everyone's phone. Right? Because when people do stuff with it, they can't be searched around for a hex code. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> I need something real simple. Hamza says, Royal Blue, try it. Put it out there on your computer. That's what this, what flag is this? Okay, so if you want to see what Royal Blue and an orangey yellow looks like, not as exciting, to be honest with you. Right? It looks very similar, because, but, but when I look at it, it's Royal Blue with the uh, orangey sun. Okay. It can't be too dark. can't be too dark. That looks like a tarot card. <laughs> All right. We have another contestant. Let's see. Where we got it? Info email? Yep. This turns on gameplay. Huh? This turns on Yeah, it's just right <laughs> Hey, listen. I put it up on Twitter just as a test. To s- I didn't say much, say anything formal, but I just said, listen, we need to st- forget protesting. We need to start celebrating. Right, and let's see if anyone you know what oh, kind of. I actually kind of like this. You like it? Let's this, see. This is interesting. Um, it's a different design, uh, but it's a, it's a cool take. Yeah, yeah. let's is see. Uh, just a picture of a baby. <laughs> let's see. Yeah. Oh. Uh, complicated. Too complicated. <laughs> and and it doesn't represent like what is that? Only it re- means something to us. Not bashing his idea. I'm just saying, right? It only means something to us. For the, for the Instagrammers, here it is. Okay, here it is. Okay. It means something to us. It's beautiful to us. 
Mm. But what is, does it mean to all of humanity, right? To all people. I think if that was simplified down, maybe it could work. Mm. It's got to be the sun. It's got to <laughs> be the sun. Yeah, just color it in. Because remember, our intention is everyone. Yeah, color it in. That's a good idea. If we just color it in, you know, then. Squares, then. the eight-sided square. But here it is. We, we, it's, it's not something that everyone in the world is going to know. No, if you color it in, it's just going to look like a sun. But, huh? If you just color all that in, it's just going to look like a sun. Really? Yeah, I think so. You color, uh, cover up all the It's got to be very clearly a sun. But here's the thing, though. Um, it's, uh, the intent here is really to stand with the broader society. That we want the broader society to stand with us in this. So you want, so you want the full sun, right? Full sun. Because I'm I was wondering, what if you want to add another color to you could add white but you could make it a sunrise and have the wa the blue on the bottom split the Ooh, sun in half but what would be the top color white then you have but white but the yellow on the white might not work or some other or color or flip the color right. white at the bottom because i'm saying the wa because water is also a source of life too yeah that's true so it's sun and that's that it's the it's the it's the process of sun and water so it's symbolic it's possible so send it out but is it simple well, because if, if, if you just cut it in half. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Not a bad idea. Titan Haksa info at SufinaSociety.org. Someone says, take a look at the Naxabundi flag. <laughs> You're tired of all the birds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Malakian, <laughs> Malakian sent in three different. Um, Farooz sent oh God, a few AI-generated generation yeah, ones. Okay. Bajo, you work at NVIDIA. Just produce something for us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, hold on. <laughs> but if he does it, right. like photos. I got, we got a couple coming. <laughs> All right, let's see. Bismillah. Be. Those are the old ones. Oh, you just need a full on AI? Yeah, I think a couple of people have submitted some AI. Well, it can't be about life and then use an AI generator. <laughs> no one else is going to know that. They're just on. No one else is going to know that. Let's say what you got now. Right. Yeah, we're gonna go one by one. I'm telling you, the most important thing is the event. How are we gonna do this oh, event? No, these AI generator ones. I think this is like an automated. Update. Let's see. This, Whoa! I don't, I, don't, I don't think you want to show AI, this. On uh, uh, let me show you what how the AI went on <laughs> uh, <laughs> drugs. <laughs> this is the AI on drugs, folks. Look at this. <laughs> Man, we're already at the rainbow. Now. You know, <laughs> this is just like this. the TV print. The, the the screen printer is gonna be like, no, folks. <laughs> right, the screen printer is gonna be like, well, yeah. can I look at? Yeah, just can I down. see? Yeah, yeah, just go down. Farouz, okay, that was the one he sent. Look at the, how the AI is really getting creative here, right? <laughs> right, stick it into. You need what we need to do is stick in some. Okay. No, like stick in some more limits for the AI. <laughs> limits, yeah. you know, like two colors. That's it. Fatima B has one. Uh, she has one with the wind going on the sky. I would say we got to be simpler than that. I'm telling you here she has one with green, one with... I like this blue. Look at this blue. Her blue is, I think, even maybe even brighter and better than ours. Mm. Right. Um, oh, Abdul Hadi. <laughs> I actually like this sun, to be honest with you. The color's dark, oh, yeah. but this sun is better than ours. Right? Yeah. Abdul Hadi, where are you and who are you? You're on to something. <laughs> this sun is better, but get the brighter colors, though. Let's do that sun on the other one's color. Yeah. Can you do that sun on, on the our color? Yeah, yeah, the other girl's color. Let many people get involved and get the Hassanet. Whatever Fatima's color is, this light blue, I'm going to forward it to that brother. The really light blue. Uh, who was it that we just said? Abdul Hadi? Yeah. Abdul. How do you say it? Yeah. What is the email? Uh, I can say I it. I can't say it. I don't say it online. <laughs> 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 uh... <laughs> see the Hamtramck City Council unanimously votes to ban all flags including the Ligbitiq flag right 
So this stuff is coming normal now. It is a norm. Yes. Okay. Any ones that I didn't see? Uh, I think you've got them here. Uh, yeah, they're... Tropical blue, Dean. Dean's got it right. Tropical blue. That's the idea. Tropical blue of coral water. Dean's got it right. Okay. A browser says, just join. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Sahar Khan, what if it was the half sun like it's rising? Try it. Could be. I mean, it could work. It could work. All right. Let's see what else you got. Uh, Kalajid, assalamu alaikum. What's going on? What's the flag for? Um, someone else in the chat can update you. White, gold, and black. Very elegant, not catchy enough. You're dealing with a pathos-driven, emotional movement. That's where they win at every turn, right? The majority of humans, when they got too... That, it drives them, right? That's what... You're not going against another university or another, like... You're going against something that is very emotional, emotionally based, Okay. A lot of people like the idea that Sohei brought. So if you, here's the thing, design it. Okay, design it. This one, this one kind of has that idea. I don't know if you saw this one. It's like this. That's like the Disney thing. Here's one, just the rays. Is it, it's, we need more yellow though. It needs yeah, more yellow because the, the yeah. yellow is the happy color, right? Uh, the McDonald's brothers were really good. Um, no, <laughs> they got stolen from. Ray Kroc oh, stole from them. Yeah, that's right. the McDonald's brothers, they found gold and didn't realize it and did not know how to market, did not know how to do There's business. Three here. You can go right and left with the, with the okay, this is not, is not bad. It's like water. It's, can you see it? No, I don't think you can see it. Yeah. It's like... Got a little bit of a uh, water reflection there. Okay, next one. Hey, what's wrong with that? Too childish. This one? No, the one in the it's not bad. It's not bad. Too childish, I would say. Like the clip art is, is more dedicated to children. Hey, not bad. Really not bad, right? Really not bad. But here's the thing. You know that human eye loves circles? Yeah. Like people love to look at circles. That's why I think you got to go full sun, not half sun. The human eye loves circles, right? So sun can be reflected in the water. Who who said this? Uh, Lord of Footwear. <laughs> can you do that last one that you just did? But a full sun. I mean these these rays are gorgeous. Yeah. These no, very no. sharp, beautiful rays, right? Gorgeous. But and also, can you make your sun brighter? Like yellow, 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 like gold, bright yellow. No, we're not waning. We're coming up hot. Okay. Here it is. This is this is like an Islamic logo. It needs to be the sun. Okay. <sighs> gotta get the gotta get the um no. event. It's we're nothing without the event. Assign one of the um, your incentive things to it. No, I need to insi assign um no, someone who's already in the interfaith space world. Oh. No, someone on the ground who has time. So he's not an organizer. He's a thinker. Someone who's an organizer. Okay. You know, that's what we need. Why not do the event at the Prophetic Living Headquarters? Well, he didn't get it yet, firstly, but the other reason is you need to do it in the public. Yeah. So everyone can see it and the media can go there. And, hey, what are you guys doing here? We're celebrating. We're being happy. What are you being happy about? God-given man and woman. <laughs> okay? <laughs> we have kids and we guard our own kids. Right? We raise our own. All of us here are in support that man should marry woman. Woman should marry man. They both should have kids. And... The, the you raise your own kids. No school should come in and tell you what to do. 
Because in the state of New Jersey now, if you're against this stuff, I don't know how far the bill has gone or if it's passed, but I posted it. Right. If you're against this stuff, they do it without your consent. That's the problem. So those are the topics people need to be talking about. So Medikian says, what about put a tree in the middle? Might get a letter from Zaytuna. <laughs> <laughs> tree is a wonderful thing, but the sun is stronger. And a tree, you have to be brown and green, not getting your eyes. Is it true that they banned the Ligbity Hue flag in Michigan City? It was um, Hamtramck next to Dearborn. And the answer is yes. Okay. All right. This segment is almost over. <laughs> All right. Okay. Where can we submit? Submit it at info at safinasided.org. And Titan Huck, I like what he's saying. He understands. It should be able to be drawn by anybody. That You want a child to be able to draw it. Because who are they attacking now? Children. Right? Who are they targeting? Children. So it's got to be child-friendly as well as adult-friendly. Like, not too child-friendly. It's got to be child-friendly. That's how we're doing it. Right? Info at safinaside.org. But this segment is going to come to a close now. Um, we're then going to read stories of the Aulia. Farooz says, do it in New York City, City Hall. Okay. Uh, well, we hope that... Hope. See, the thing is, someone has to take this thing, and, it, and it's the only thing they do in their life. Like, the only volunteer thing in their life. And they got to run with it, and then we just give it to them. As long... These are the parameters. That's it. Really simple concept. Right? This is what we're all about. You can't go wrong. Right? It's not about, it, it, we're, we're not making this about a religion, a deen. You can't if you are facing, our motivation is our deen, but you're facing a monster that is huge. It's huge out there. That The LGB movement is massive. You have to get a really broad coalition on very simple things, which is just male, female. Have kids, raise your kids. Okay. So it, that's what we're all about. How can you accuse us of all the things they're used to getting away with? Oh, this is violence. You're anti-against. You're not with us. No, no. We're not against. This is what we're for. And it happens to displace what you're for. Mutually exclusive, right? So instead of saying, stop eating burgers, fries, Coke, and chips, give me a better vegetarian meal then, or a healthier meal. And celebrate that. It's much more attractive of a way to get people to be healthy. Right? Okay. We're going to end up with fights. <laughs> right? That's get, where get the sword flag back. Bro, that's when the fun starts. <laughs> that's when the fun starts. I'm telling you. Okay, that's when the fun starts. Because it's not going to be, the speeches are going to be very much, you know, directed in a different, and then by the way, then we want this pr pr perspective peddled in the schools. This perspective now of sexuality, of family, should have its position in the schools, right? Why should it only be, so we can't, if we, if we have reached a point in our world that we can't uh, stop you from, put, we, that boat has passed, failed already. Okay, so fine. You want to put that? We'll be equal. Present this. This is the life philosophy. One more. Maliki N says, check the email. Let's just check one more, and then we go to read a story of the Awliya. There's a couple more that have come in. We can, you want to look at one more? Or? Yes, this one. Oh, yeah, this wow. One. I, I only think that they... Who, who is this? This is... Uh, what's his name? Abdul, Abdul Hay. Yeah. yeah, he put the color... Okay, yeah. Lord of Footwear. I think just the only sun is slightly orange, but it needs to be bright yellow. That is pretty. 
That is pretty. Yeah, okay. You can't see it up there, but... Um, you can't see it here, but... We'll, we'll forward it. Look at that. We'll get Habib to put it up. Yeah, forward it to Habib. I would say just the only thing is that the sun make it just more yellow. But otherwise, he's into something. Okay. There's also this one. A little bit simpler. A couple, like, fewer rays, but the same idea. Um, this one's slightly darker, less rays, easier to draw. I like that. Both of them. Can you get both of them, whoever sent this, both of them, in the sky blue, bright sky blue, though, and the bright yellow. I really like this one. It's simpler. It's easier. Right, the other one maybe has a shirky vibe to it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> has that little bit of a Hindu shirky vibe to it? Too many things going on. Yeah, this one is. <laughs> nah. <laughs> so we added a question here. Uh, all right. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of people coming out of the woodworks to. Um. Look at this. Rex Hupke. I don't know who this person is. So he's saying basically he's taking back the rainbow flag as a symbol of God. <coughs> so people coming out of the word work to do stuff. It's going to be who is the most organized that just repeatedly does one event a year. That's it. Start off like that. Then it's everyone does their own similar event in every city. And then after f three, four years, you're at another level now. That's how it works. Okay. So. Okay. Let us now move on. Ash Hassanin, last thing we'll read. He says, look at my suggestion too, which is what? Would corporations change the flag? We'll see who has the buying power, right? <laughs> Families have, they spend money, trust me. Families spend money. And who knows? Okay. Mm, yeah, Fitra flag. Mm. Is again pink and blue. So here we go. Um, I think we're going to go with that one. You know that that uh, Lord of Footwear sent? Mm. Yeah, brighten and brighten it up. Just brighten up the, the blue and the gold and the, and the sun. But I'm telling you, we are nothing without the event. It's the event that's going to, right? It's the event. And I'm a pragmatist. You cannot ask for, two th for th multiple things at once, okay? So... You want you fight one battle, celebrate one thing, which is the concept of men, uh, of marriage, men and women, have kids. You raise your own kids. I think Robert George would be sign up. I should have a meeting with him before yeah. before I think, you know, like before you actually start thinking of what you're doing, because you know what that happens. You say, okay, you know what? Let me just sleep on it and think. That's a disaster. <laughs> You know it's a good idea, right? Talk to Robert George. And this, is, it's a, this has nothing to do with international affairs. One subject matter. Marriage between men and women. Okay? That's it. Okay. Uh, Titan also has a good point that the, you, the, the, the rays should not be thin. And they should not be too many. Otherwise... It's really hard to, to do, to print. Also, think of printing it on shirts. You don't want, you avoid thin lines, not too thin. I'm going to talk to Robert George. Yes, he's very pro-Zionist. This is not about that. Okay. You cannot fight two battles at once. You cannot have it fully just a purely Islamic event. Okay. No. You, 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 Dawah is different. This is one subject. Okay. Is, which is this. Got to focus and keep it simple. Okay. And you have the first celebration. How, how we do the celebration? Um, huh? Nordic. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do we do the celebration? 
some talks, I guess, on on this one subject, and some food, I guess, some like, some vendors. Like Thank! Oh my goodness, it's a kids' event. That's what it is, yeah. a kids' event. That takes out the nasty politics out of it, right? Mm. It's a kids' event, mainly a kids' event, and adults too, right? Everyone who is here for uh, for this subject matter, and that's the world that you want. That's the North Brunswick. That's the New Brunswick, South Brunswick that you want to live in, right? Where we're back to like guy, guys look like guys, women look like women, and when they engage in life, they marry, and they and we're against zina too. Marriage, not zina. Okay, it's not just heterosexual. Heterosexual could be a zenny, right? Okay. No, heteros marriage and kids. So you have enough kids event. It takes the politics out of it. It takes people's mood a bit softer. Yo, that was good. <laughs> that was really good. That was really good. Now we need to have, we need to actually um, make it happen physically. And we'll just make it happen in something that can't fail. So simple, it can't fail. Maybe Robert George could get us the, the if he agrees with this, maybe he could get us the, uh, uh, the venue. And he'll invite his Catholic church. We'll invite MBIC. It's very small, very simple. Have the first one, right? The key is have it every year. Hand out stickers, yeah, stickers, T-shirts, everything. And I would have to say, look, the, the, this is, it's just the one issue. We're not going down the route of abortion. We're not going around the route of Palestine. We're not going around of, of, of theology, right? Let's just return humanity to these basics. <laughs> I'm saying all this stuff out loud so that you could tell me how to make it better or where there's a problem, No, right? What do you think of this? I think uh, whoever was up there to just criticize, I think they're going to find something. They'll find something, yeah, no problem. They'll find something, but they, they're not doing anything either, yeah. right? To, to actually do something at a mass scale, yeah. it's got to be, v like, the binary's got to be really, the, 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 um, the common denominator's got to be really simple, right? Super simple. You can't be picky. Like, when, um, when, well, do you think of when Muslims, do entertainment for their family, right? When they want to do something entertaining for their family, okay? Um, M. Hamza says, would you be okay with me talking to my local mosque about your idea? Take the flag. <laughs> Take the one you like. Do it. Send me the pictures. Call the media. Do it. This has not, this not, cannot be owned by anybody. But the symbol is one thing, marriage. Life and marriage. That's it. Just like, what is theirs? One thing. Luat. <laughs> right? Luat. Nobody owns this idea. Okay? Lord's Footwear has sent it. Lord's Footwear. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. Now, send me the other one, Lord's Footwear. Send the one... I'm texting him now. With... <laughs> Less raise, please. Oh, first, let's encourage him. Awesome, exclamation point. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. Can you, not send, it doesn't work for me. Can you send the one with less raise? Because it's got to, like you said, easier and, and no thin raise, right? Because that's a disaster for printing mm. okay he says no, ha 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 i'm watching live okay <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay uh obeyed ismail says assalamu alaikum from leicester wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah i wanted to go to leicester but we couldn't make it okay so you know what someone out there okay Someone out there, a community out there, may take this idea, run with it, and do a better job, right? 
that's fine. No one owns this idea. It's got to be for everybody. You know, you cannot have one organization. But this is the idea. This is the concept. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We turn now to reading the biography of Sayyidina al-Junaid al-Salik, Tabarrukan. Malikian, did we go to the turquoise color? Yes, turquoise and bright yellow. And Lord of Footwear, inshallah, will send us this. By the way, I don't even sell Jordans. I no, he's, apparently you met him in Bolton, or he met you in Bolton. Uh, Does he sell Jordans? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's always, you know. Uh, yeah, it's always, uh, you know, <laughs> always looking for, uh, looking for, you know, good sellers out there. Okay, here we go. نتبرك بذكر الأولياء عند ذكر الصالحين تنزل الرحمة سر الحسن البصري. Some have attributed to Sayyid al Kawnain, the Prophet Sallallahu but others have said no, it is Hassan al Basri. Okay. وهو أبو القاسم أبو al Junaid ibn Muhammad, Sayyid هذه الطائفة وإمامها. He is the chief. Okay. Of this, the group of Zuhad. أهل التصوف أصله من نهاوند It's a city in Persia But ولد ونشأ في العراق Born and raised in Iraq كان أبوه يبيع الزجاج His father was in the glass business okay. ولذلك يقال له القواريري For that reason it's called قواريري and قوارير are the uh, bowls bowls and vessels Okay Qawarir is like a fragile glass vessel. وَكَانَ فَقِيهًا عَلَى مَذْهَبِ أَبِي ثَوْر He was a faqih on the madhab of Abu Thawr. وَكَانَ يُفْتِي Okay. And he was a mufti. فِي حَلَقَتِهِ وَهُوَ إِبْنِ عِشْرِينَ السَّنَةِ صَحِبَ خَالَهُ أَسَّرِيَ السَّقَتِ was his uncle. وَالْحَارِثِ الْمُحَاسِبِ وَمُحَمَّدِ بْنِ الْقَصَّابِ سُئِلَ جُنَيْدُ سُئِلَ فِعْلْ مَبْنِي الْمَجْهُولِ It is a verb that is built for the passive tense. الْجُنَيْدُ is the نَئِفَعْل There is no verb here. There's only the object. سُئِلَ الْجُنَيْدُ So when that happened, no, نَئِفَعْل is always مَرْفُوَ okay. We call this in English passive voice. He was asked, who is the Arif Billah? Qala man nataqa an sirrika wa anta sakit. The sign of someone who is Arif Billah, he speaks about what is on your mind while you're silent. Okay? Wa qala, ma akhadna tasawwufa an al qili wal qal. We don't take tasawwuf from he said and she said. Lakin an al ju'i wa tark al dunya. Hunger, eating less, fasting more. And leaving off the dunya. وَقَطْعِ الْمَأْلُوفَاتِ وَالْمُسْتَحْسَنَاتِ And cutting off things that, dependencies. We don't become dependent on anything. Cutting off physical and emotional dependencies. Okay. يَقُولُ أَبُوْ عَلِي الرُّوذَ بَارِي سَمِعْتُ الْجُنَيْدُ يَقُولُ لِرَجُلٍ Okay. ذَكَرَ الْمَعْرِفَةِ I heard Junaid saying to a man who is mentioning ma'rifa billah, knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ahlul ma'rifati billahi yasiluna ila tarkil harakati min babil birri wa taqwa ila Allah azza wa jal. They arrive at their station by leaving off movements in order to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what they mean by that is, he means by that is, Wara. When in doubt, leave off. In Hada Kaulu Kaumin Takalamu be Iskat al Amali, Wahu Indi Adim, Walevi Yasriku Wayazni Ahsenu Halam and Ledi Yakulu Hada. Okay. For in the Hulai Rifina Billahi Tala Akadul Amala and Illa, where Ilehi Raja Ufiha, Wallo Baki to El Famin, Lam Uncus, Min Amal il Birri Dara, Illa and Yuhala B. Duna. Now the person says they left off 
all action, just to avoid harm. He says, no, to act and to try to do good is better, even if you fall, he says, into sins and mistakes. Because you have to act. You have to take action. It's like what we're trying to do here. Take action. To sit down and criticizing and being like, uh, uh, getting heartburn from how much we hate on Komalutz. Take action, right? Take action. Amal. He says here, even if you fall into theft and zina, is better than the one who says, let's not act and do anything at all. Okay? And he's also talking about those who believed that they have reached Allah and they don't have to do ibadah anymore. He's criticizing them. They say, we reached Allah, we don't have to worry about the sharia anymore. Of course, you're, he says the, the, the major sinner is better than that person, right? The major sinner is way better than that person. Because that person is on a path of, of, of uh, like zandaqa. You say you don't have to act upon the sharia. وَقَالَ لَوْ أَقْبَلَ صَادِقٌ عَلَى اللَّهِ تَعَالَى أَلْفَ أَلْفَ سَنَةٌ ثُمَّ أَعْرَضَ عَنْهُ لَحْظَةً كَانَ مَا فَاتَهُ أَكْثَرَ مِمَّا نَالَهُ Okay, if a person turns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a thousand upon a thousand years, a million years, then he says to him, then he turns away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a moment. He says what he loses is greater, heavier than what he gained. وَقَالَ مَنْ لَمْ يَحْفَظِ الْقُرْآنَ الْكَرِيمِ وَلَمْ يَكْتُبَ الْحَدِيثِ لَا يُقْتَدَى بِهِ فِي هَذَا الْأَمْرِ Whosoever does not study the Qur'an and study hadith, meaning fiqh, aqeedah, sharia, okay, cannot be an example in this science of ours. لِأَنَّ عَمَلُنَا هَذَا مُقَيِّدٌ بِالْكِتَابِ وَالسُنَّةِ Because our action here is connected to the book and the sunnah. وَقِيلَ لِلْجُنَيْدِ And it was said to Junaid, مِنْ أَيْنَ اسْتَفَدْتَ هَذَا الْعِلْمِ where, From where did you benefit? Where did you gain this knowledge? قَالَ مِنْ جُلُوسِ بَيْنَ يَدَيِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَ ثَلَثِينَ سَنَةً Sitting between the hands of Allah 30 years, meaning sitting on the rug, doing ibad and dhikr. 30 years, تَحْتَ تِلْكَ الدَّرَجَةِ وَأَوْمَأَ إِلَى دَرَجَةٍ فِي دَارِهِ And he pointed to a pillar. In his house. Okay. Non-stop. Ibadah and dhikr. Ibadah and dhikr. Ibadah and dhikr. Okay. وَرُؤِيَ فِي يَدِهِ subha, Misbaha. Sibha. Subha. Whatever you want to call it. Was in his hand. قِيلَ لَهُ أَنْتَ مَعَ شَرَفِكَ تَأْخُذْ بِيَدِكَ subha. You, with your honor, you take in your hand a misbaha. Okay. فَقَالَ طَرِيقٌ بِهِ وَصَلْتُ إِلَىٰ رَبِّي لَا أُفَارِقُهُ By this was the tool by which I reach my Lord. I will never leave it. You know what someone said to me, but the sibha is an innovation. I said, how do you calculate your zikah? Do you use a calculator? Okay, so why can't I count my tasbih? Oh, the Sahaba, they didn't need to. Also, I didn't, they didn't need to do as much dhikr as we do because we have so many sins, right? So, it's a calculating method. وَسَمِعْتُ الْأُسْتَاذَ أَبَا عَلِي الدَّقَّاقِ يَقُولْ أَبَا عَلِي الدَّقَّاقِ says, كَانَ الْجُنَيْدُ يَدْخُلُ حَانُوتَهُ كُلَّ يَوْمِ Every day he'd go into his store. يَسْبِلُ السَّتْرَ وَيُصَلِّي he, he pray put down something and pray. 400 rakas. Okay. 400 rakas. Close the store. Pray 400 rakas. And then go home. SubhanAllah. Qala Abu Bakr al-Atawi Kuntu inda al-Junaydi hina I was with Junaid when he died. Khatam al-Quran al-Kareem He had finished the khatam. Thumma abtada'a min al-Baqra Then began Baqra. And he recited 70 ayahs and then he died. هذا هو الجنيد السالك. And the famous story of Junaid ibn Muhammad al-Salik is that he was a youth in Iraq, in Baghdad, and very good times. Uh, this is not in the Risal al-Qushariya, which we just read from, but he lived in very good times. And he lived in a time where he lived very close to the capital, like the, the actual 
palace of the sultan and he was friendly with them and every his family they all knew each other and so he was uh uh into wrestling and so the um sultan said heard of him he said come and in the when it was hot and they'd all be inside taking refuge from the heat he said i heard that you're a wrestler and wrestle this guy wrestle that guy and he keep wrestling everybody he was like 16 or 17 years old. He just wrestled everybody. And he was really good at wrestling. So he said, let's put up uh, a, pr- uh, a challenge. And we'll put up like some money. Sport, basically. Who wants to wrestle? You wrestle him, you're going to get the money. So uh, he gets a contestant and he wrestles him. Next contestant wrestles him. Next contestant. Finally, an old man comes. And everyone's like, how are you going to wrestle him? He said, just give me a chance. Okay, so while they're grappling, the man whispers in his ears, I'm from Ahl al-Bayt. So Junaid says back, he said, you think I'm not, so are you not, not wrestleable? Because you're from Ahl al-Bayt, I can wrestle you. Just because you're from Ahl al-Bayt, there's nothing wrong with that. I think haram about that. Do you think I'm going to shy away just because you're from Ahl al-Bayt? So he said, and I'm in Ahl al-Bayt. I'm from Ahl al-Bayt. My family's poor, and we can't receive zakah. This money is the only money I can receive. I can't take zakah. So he understood. So then he said, Junaid said, I'm going to make the moves. When I squeeze your arm, you push. So he winds himself up, squeezes the man's arm, and then... The old man pins him. Okay, so he got pinned. Sultan said, no, there's a fluke. Do it again. And he did it the same thing three times. And then the people, and the Sultan said, what happened? I, how could you lose, right? And he just had to put his head down and go home. And the man took the money. That night, al Junaid al-Salik, just a youth, regular old youth who likes sports just like anybody else. He saw the Prophet ﷺ. He said, you lowered your name, your reputation among the Sultan. For my sake, for my family, now I will ensure that your name is never lowered in the Ummah till the end of time. And that's why here we are, 1444, and we still call Junaid al our Imam in all of Tasawwuf. He was the first, one of the first ones to openly say at tasawwuf is a knowledge of the book and the sunnah. And that's why people call him Sayyid al-Ta'ifa. He's a chief. He lived at a time where tasawwuf was sort of like not exactly what is it. Like was like, what is it exactly? What not exactly. Yeah, there's Zuhad. They do these different things, right? But it wasn't yet set, set as a knowledge. and a set. Then the next person who took it to another level was Imam al-Ghazali with Ihya ulum al took it to another level but the idea of it, of making to so this is ilm bound by the quran and the sunnah now we have fiqh of what to make of ahwal he was one of the first people to do this like when you have a state how do you handle that ahwal what is lawful and what is unlawful what is from allah what is from shaitan the spiritual states of people he put knowledge to it and he put parameters to it and he set it the guidelines down all right, that's the end of this segment. We got about five, ten minutes for a Q&A, general Q&A. All right, when Madikis pray, how should they look? They should look up. Oh, straightforward, I mean. Sorry, straightforward. Um, and they should look, uh, or they can look down. Either way, down or forward. Any of uh, our guests here have anything, Sheikh Hassan? Tafadun? There's no mic over here. We need to get a mic here. Mm-hmm. Well, speaking of more on Arabic and Quraysh, it was a graduation of the Sunnis. MashaAllah, it's very beautiful. What happened? You graduated? I didn't graduate, but he had his students that graduated. Nice. So he had like students from uh, Salt Lake City and um, these are like very like elder ulama. Mm. Um, mm. A lot of them are doctors as well. MashaAllah. Uh, Where is this? So his mother's in uh, Suffolk, New York. 
stuff in the nation. Mashallah. And, y- and what's your relationship there? So basically, um, when, like around 2019, I visited Salt Lake City with like a few Alaga and Hufas. Mm. So at that time, I met some of his students. So I, I heard about his name from that time until now. I, I was just like, it was always in my mind that, okay, I have to meet him one day. I have to Mashallah. Meet him. Mashallah. I finally met him. And subhanAllah, like, the way that you could tell, like, the maqam of a sheikh is, like, you look at their their students from their muridin, and then when you see, like, their level, you can already understand, okay, like, if this is their level, it's just... Yeah, like subhanAllah. Sheikh. And so, like, he's like that. Like, you look at every single one of his students, high-level doctor, superintendent of the salwuf, someone who's, like, accepted in the sight of Allah, subhanAllah ta'ala. Mm-hmm. And so now, like, you see them, and now when you see him, you're like, okay, this makes subhanAllah. sense. SubhanAllah. And, like... <laughs> What happens is that, like, I think, like, a month earlier, like, we actually attended one of his programs, me and Mahdi. So, like, when you're staying in his company, you're thinking to yourself, that, subhanAllah, am I staying in the halak or am I, like, doing, like, nafil or, like, the hajj or something? Like, you, you feel like as if, like, you're doing, like, ibadah. Like, subhanAllah. Like, you feel like your iman is, like, rising. So, ajeeb, it's, ajeeb. mashallah, it's... He, his like, name is, again, is Dr. Mubin? Uh, Dr. Nadim Qureshi. Nadim Qureshi, yeah. subhanAllah. In Suffern, New York. Suffern. And where does he teach out of? So he teaches mostly online. Like with the students. They don't have a masjid? Yeah, they have a masjid, but it's like um, if you're able to attend like live for the for the mm. classes, then you're able to, then that's fine. But if you're only able to attend like like remotely or online, then Mashallah. you can also pay for it. That's amazing. That is really something else uh, that we have so many shiuch here that we don't even know or are not even aware of. MashaAllah. This question from Hamza says, how do we effectively advise family or friends without making it seem like we're passing a judgment on them? Anybody here has thoughts on that? I'm not a scholar, so this is just a layperson's advice. Uh, Bismillah. Uh, I think when you give a nasiha to anyone, you uh, you first have to uh, take a step back and try to understand where they're coming from. That's that's the first and foremost mm-hmm. approach to things. And what that means is that you have to uh, try to understand not only the trials and tribulations they're going through presently, but the trials and tribulations that they faced in the past that may inform their perspective on things. I think that's the most important thing to start with because uh, nasiha or dawah is is not uh, regimented to the point that the same approach works for everyone. Mm. So you have to approach them, and that's the sunnah as well. You speak in the language of the people. Yes. So that's, that's speak what they know. Speak what they know. So yeah. I think that's the first uh, step I would take is to try to understand where they're coming from. And then the real, uh, uh, imp- the really important second step is to make certain that when you do try to reach out to them, uh, you do it in a way that does not violate your own iman. Mm-hmm. Because uh, I come from a mixed background, and we have a lot of uh, members of our my extended family who are not Muslim. Hmm. And I remember, not to go off on a tangent, but there was a, a close friend of mine. Uh, he, that went what close fr- uh, classmate in high, I guess in high school, passed away um, on a motorcycle accident hmm. relatively recently. And my father worked with his father for about 40 years. Wow. And so he's Christian. They're both Christian. Hmm. And so they say, can Dr. Juan come over to visit? Yeah. And so they're grieving. And so my father, you know, this is a very challenging position to be in because you have to provide solace, but at the same time, you cannot violate your iman. Yeah. Yeah. So what he told them was that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or he said God, and when he was speaking to them because he was trying to give them advice to try to, because what you want is you want to try to plant the seeds of ideas that might lead them in the correct, Mm -hmm. on the correct path, the the right way. Uh, What he said to them was that uh, he told them a story, basically. He said that once there was a man who uh, had a set of jewelry yeah. that he had given to someone, lent to someone. And that person had that set of jewelry for many, many, many years. Mm. And what happened is that man eventually went to that person and asked for that jewelry back. Yep. And the man said, listen, I have to give it back. Mm-hmm. 
because the right of the person who makes or owns that jewelry is 100%. to take that back eventually. And what had he lost? A child? And he had lost his son. Subhanallah. So yep. what he w- informed them was that he, w- did, he didn't say anything that violated his faith. Yeah. Or th- but he wanted to plant the seed in their idea that, look, they're back with God. He didn't say what their station was. He didn't yeah. say what their fate was. They're back with their owner. But they're back with their owner. Yeah. And so that he was able to navigate that and mm-hmm. give them peace of heart. Yeah. Even though he wasn't saying that they're in paradise, mm-hmm. but they're back uh, they're to with where their they owner. came from. That's exactly. a great way. So a summary of it is know the background of the person you're dealing with. That's why the prophet says speak to people at the level they understand. Okay. Uh, here's a question um, that says, uh, could you expand on the hadith that God doesn't answer the dua that is done with heedlessness? Yes. That means your heart is not even with the prayer, the supplication. Your heart's somewhere else. You're thinking about something else. Can we pray Aisha and Fajr with a 12-degree angle in the south of Germany? Best to go with the imams of, the trusted imams of your locality and your line of latitude to know the prayer times. Abdullah says, my friend is a religious Muslim, but having a really hard time, inch away from suicide, what is my duty? Your duty is actually to call the local leaders of your, te- of your area and ask them, someone's close to suicide, you need intervention. Is there an organization? Do you call, what do you call when someone is close to suicide? You may be liable, at least you know your conscience is going to be liable if something happens. So you want to contact the authorities there that know better, the local community leaders. To, to, to lead you in the right direction. Um, Talib Razi says, the confession of Abu Nawas was a terrible deviant. Almost, he was a kafir. Okay. Huh? And he, huh? Abu Nawas. You know what Abu Nawas went to jail for? He goes into the masjid and the imam says, قُلْ يَا أَيُّهُ الْكَافِرُونَ Abu Nawas is as a joker and a kafir. He, said, he says, La bake. Oh, you who disbelieve. Right? He says, Here I am. So the message, stop praying. They slammed down, beat him up, took him to jail. He has poetry that is so, is lewd, is filthy, but he made toba at the end of his life, so much so that the poetry made a shafi cry. And shafi prayed the janazah on him as a Muslim. Abu Nawas, the, the, the famed bad boy of the ummah. Not in a good way. Like, I was a literally majnoon. He was so filthy, right? <laughs> he was so filthy. Okay. Erotic poems, everything. And it was almost like he was filthy with a sense of humor. Not like just like filthy, like, uh, you know, uh, just erotic, like filthy with a sense of humor. Okay. What's the significance of angels wis- r- witnessing Fajr? The angels, they swap at Fajr and Asr. The angels have jobs. So when the sun is rising and setting, they swap. They have shifts. How do you interpret the hadith on execution of sodomy? Don't people get a chance to repent in our religion? Not, of, not from everything. You can repent, but you can't keep living here. You can repent. It can be accepted. And I don't know about the details of, of it. Uh, there may be a repentance. Uh, I didn't look up the details of how it's applied and how it's acted upon. But there are capital crimes in our religion. You can, like, for example, if I commit murder, right, and the person does not want to forgive nor take blood money, I'm, I'm going to get killed. So I repent. But I go to the day of judgment because I face that had crime. My crime is expunged in the sight of Allah. Zainab says, a lot of people I know do a khatm on someone's death anniversary. Is it permissible? Yes, anytime. It doesn't have to be a death anniversary. It doesn't have to be 40 days. It could be any time you can recite Quran or donate financially like sadaqah of food or money, hoping the reward goes to the dead. The Madikiyah, early Madikiyah, held only the financial rewards go to, like, charity, Umrah, 
Hajj because Hajj is 50% financial, 50% physical. Go to the dead because we have certainty from that from the Prophet. All right. Uh, Shafi'iyah said, even ibadah, uh, a recitation of Quran, dhikr, you can donate all of those rewards to the dead as long as they died as a Muslim. How do I benefit my from my Nahu studies? Keep reading books, classical books, and try to start listening to uh, short lectures that are in English, uh, that are in Arabic with transliter- translation. Cover up the translation. Go through the, the, the video and pause it. Then look at the translation and see if you're understanding what's being said. That's the best way to do it. Okay. Can I hire a male personal assistant? We won't be conversing. I don't know what you're going to be doing. Um, when you have, when, I don't know how, like, where is the parameters of that? But you can't have khalwa and you can't have excessive communication back and forth on every single little matter, right? Because that's how these people, they start to fall in love with each other. It's the truth. Secretaries and, 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 and people, they all the time. Okay. Let's go to Zaharash, Zaharation. My daughter was a victim of bullying by another Muslim girl. Alhamdulillah, all stopped, but her mom keeps trying to get close to me, arguing we are Muslims and should forgive. Uh, am I right? Not wanting to be friendly with her as her daughter made mine suffer for a long time. Well, you are fine in that. It's nothing wrong with that. But if they're trying to make amends... The Quran says, if they want peace, we make peace. So it's not like you're at war, but you you do have the right to say, I want I don't want to see you guys at all, ever. But I would recommend eventually, hopefully, moving beyond that. Did not the Quran say, you can have a bitter enemy that becomes a good friend? And that may be the case there, and that's better. Uh, someone is asking here, who is it? It is um, Maryam, first steps of Tasawwuf. Uh, is reciting Ratib every day. And then if your Arabic is good, Wurd al Latif every morning. Awrad. Practical action. Awrad. Then read the books of Ghazali. Why is it haram to play sports for a living? Uh, uh, and where can you get those awrads? Sifinisa.org slash Wurd. Uh, the Prophet I said him forbade earning an income for all sports except the war games established by the sultan. Okay, that's why. What about modeling? No. No. Modeling like what? Thobes for guys? Definitely not for women, right? (laughs) (laughs) Mm, Definitely. My friend is a religious Muslim. But he's having a really hard time and he's an inch away from... Su- oh, we answered this one. Now, listen to this. Well, look at this, guys. I'm t- sitting here just looking for a regular thobe on Etsy, right? Look at the model on this thobe for this thobe company. Can you guys see online? Can you guys see in the camera? The, the, look at this model. The guy is tattooed from head to toe, Right? <laughs> And no problem if a guy made Toba and he's tattooed, right? <laughs> but when you're a company, the first thought is was for me was like, yeah, because that's how the majority of your customer base looks, right? <laughs> yeah, that's how your customer base looks, right? It was just sort of a funny decision. Not that maybe the brother made Toba, no problem. But <laughs> by the way, you know what they told me? I got inundated with messages yesterday. They said on Twitter. You invited Hassan Shami to the podcast. I did. And I, I, I still hold that invitation. But guess what they said? They said, he's a Rafidi Shi'i. Okay. But he's not a Shi'i imam, right? But we're, uh, I'm inviting him to talk about the what he talks about online, which is just this stuff that we've been talking about, right? Pushing back the woke agenda. That's all it is. So... Just for your information, I am sticking with that. 
uh, because I did not invite him to talk theology in the first place, nor is he a theological, broad, like, he's not out there being an imam. So, like it, don't like it, that's, that's my philosophy of things. He happens, that's his faith. Okay? That's not the reason that we're talking. And he's, does, he's not a representative of that. He's not saying he's a Shia imam. So that would be platforming an innovator, right? That happens to be his thing. Is intimacy with your spouse a bad? Yes, the Prophet did say you get rewarded. And he shares Ahl Sunnah things all the time. That's why I'm saying, okay, that's why I'm saying it's not like something that this is his platform. No, his platform is anti woke. And that's why I said we have to be stopped at being anti woke. And we have to to be uh, for divine life, traditional divine life. That's what we're for. Any last comments from every, anybody here? No, we good. Let's cl- close out with Surah uh, Dua and Nur. Who's your favorite Quran reciter? I personally like Adil al Kalbani. How do we uh, be successful in dunya and akhirah? Successful in akhirah, study deen, study your deen, do a lot of remembrance of Allah, and don't be too materialistic. You can love beauty, but don't amass too much dunya. How do you succeed in the dunya? Wake up early and sell something. Those are the two things that bring you to sk- waking up early and being a trader of something. Is it up, Habib? بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم اجعل لي نورا في قلبي ونورا في قبري ونورا في سمعي ونورا في بصري ونورا في شعري ونورا في بشري ونورا في لحمي ونورا في دمي ونورا في عظامي ونورا في عصبي ونورا من بين يدي ونورا من خلفي ونورا عن يميني ونورا عن شمالي ونورا من فوقي ونورا من تحتي اللهم زدني نورا وأعطني نورا وجعلني نورا وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين Oh